All right, we're back with another Thank God It's Tuesday. Beautiful day. Weather's a little cold, don't you think, Candace? I mean, it's a little, little colder than, than I would think, but uh, we're bringing back to you another moment of encouragement, of inspiration, something you could take from today that maybe is thought-provoking you never thought about. I want to share with you real quick three quick things about how you can better your situation, your circumstance, and, and circumstance is just that. It's just circumstance. No circumstances define you. You know, they should refine you. They're all given to you for a purpose and a reason. They're not happening to you. They're happening for you. But for you to see that is so tough. It's so tough for me to see that. But I want to give you three things. The first thing is your philosophy. What is your philosophy? Think about how you think every single day about where you're at every day in your situation. Let me put it like this. If I asked you, share with me your philosophy on success or how to become better. And I said, I want that philosophy for you, and I want to go, I want to go take it around the world and, and memorize it and do uh, lectures on your philosophy. Would it be a philosophy that people would want to subscribe to? If it, if it wouldn't be, my question is, why not? I mean, people always want to ask the question, why? I mean, you know, why should we do this and why should we do this? Why not? What is your philosophy? Your philosophy is going to dictate the very next thing, which is your attitude. A lot of people say attitude is everything. Well, I don't know if it's everything because you can have a great attitude and still not be successful. But I will say this, having a great attitude is a huge piece, but your attitude is directly reflected by your philosophy. You have to look and see what is my philosophy. That's a question to ponder. What is your philosophy? Whether it's parenting, whether it's with your spouse, whether it's on, uh, moving up in your career, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school right now, your philosophy matters. It's going to dictate your attitude. And the last thing is activities. So you got philosophy, attitude, and activities or disciplines. The discipline in your life is what creates your whole life. Bottom line is the habits that you create is the difference between succeeding or not succeeding, right? I mean, you hear the, ad, the adage, an apple a day does what? It keeps a doctor away, right? It doesn't say a Hershey a day keeps a doctor away, but that's one small habit because if you took an apple every day, the outcome's going to be different than if you ate a Hershey's every day, right? So what you have to understand is your philosophy is going to dictate your attitude. Your philosophy is going to dictate your, uh, your habits. It's going to dictate your activities. So again, I challenge you today on this beautiful Tuesday that we say, thank God it's Tuesday. I challenge you to look deep in your philosophy. Is this the philosophy you have that's going to get you to where you want? We can talk next time on how to get the philosophy you need to get you to where you want. But I want to tell you today is Tuesday and thank God it's Tuesday.